everybody. It's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cents Sport Card Adventures, everybody. Oh, today we're going to be opening a brand new 2024 Allen and Ginter Baseball Blaster Box. Look at that. I like this stuff. Oh, yeah. We're going to put that on the side and open that later. We got a lot of stuff to do today. Now, what time is it? It's about 12.15 where I'm I'm doing this video here. I got to do a little earlier on, especially Saturdays, because I'm going to a hockey game at 3 o'clock. So just to let you guys know, make your comments before 12 on Saturday because I usually don't start before 12. I just finished looking at the comments and putting all the tickets in the box. But it's hockey season. And it's going to be hockey season until like March. So make sure you got... Uh, just a little update on my nephew, number three. They did that big tournament in Chicago. They uh, did very well. They got in the finals of the big tournament, and they lost to Team Illinois by one goal, a team they beat previously the day or two before. But what are you going to do? That's the way it goes. Things go up and down. So they did very well. They're one of the best teams in the nation. So we're looking for a national uh, championship. If that's the case, uh, that nephew... Well, if he wins another national, we'll have won three. Teams that he's played on will have won three nationals in four years. So that's not bad. All right. So, oh, before oh before we start with the prize and all that, I got a couple shout-outs. Uh, and I got a couple uh, nice nice things that came in. Uh, first, we got Bart at BCS. I won a prize. <laughs> Thanks, Bart. Bart. My, one of my featured channels down below. Check him out. He does prizes all the time. Mostly the Tops Now cards, which are very nice. So, I forget what I won. I think it might have been a Paul Skeens again. Because I won a Paul Skeens a, a week or two ago. So, I've been lucky. And I gave that to one of my uh, kitchen table box break guys. A father and son duel. duel um, duo. Sorry. And uh, they, they love the Pirates. So... Let's see. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, wow. This wasn't Pulse. Oh, wow. I won this. Oh, let me see here. What did I win? Oh, boy. I don't have one of these. Let's see. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So it says, hey, Darrell, congrats on another win. I included the Aaron Judge Paul Patrol car for you. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Wow. So I got the nice stars, the MLB Paul Skeens for for uh, my father and son duo that collect the pirates. So I give that to them. And then look at this. Wow, thanks, Bart. Gee, this is nice. I don't have one of these. Aaron Judge Paul Patrol. Look at that. Wow. Thank you. That's nice. I put that in my collection. <laughs> so thanks very much for Bart from BCS. Check him out. He's on the featured channels down below. And he has a very nice channel. He does box openings. I get to see some stuff open before even I open it most of the time. I think he just did Stadium Club. And he got a nice George Brett autograph. So check that out. Uh, and he's down there. I check him out every week. And uh, all you got to do on his uh, contest is do like a hashtag and whatever he says, and then you get a chance to win something. All right. Also, a shout out to Dr. Mantis Teabogging, long time, long time listener. And I just put him on the featured channels down below also. So check him out. We're going to be starting to watch some of his videos, all his videos, actually. And uh, he sent me, look at this here. Wow. I don't have these either because I actually went down to my local post office when these came out and they, they were out of stock. They're out of stock of everything down there. So I got these. Oh, thank you very much, Sean. Oh, these are nice. I like them. Hank Aaron. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a Yankee and Braves fan. And Hank Aaron, you can't go wrong with. I appreciate it. Yep. I, I don't know if you got your package yet, but I, I had to give you something. I sent you some nice... Uh, a box of your team that you your teams that you like so i hope you enjoy those thank you i'm gonna save those so i appreciate it and 
He's down below, too, also, and I'm going to start watching his videos. If you are a family-friendly channel and you'd like to be a featured channel, let me know. I'll put you down there. Yeah? And then I can get to watch the videos. Because I tell you the truth, I only have a, a chance to really watch the featured channels I have down below and the main videos they have. I try to watch all of them make a comment. And lucky uh, I got the life of Riley and I go through cards all day, so I listen to it. Otherwise, I don't think I'd ever have a chance to do all that. But... I, I learn a lot just by listening to the featured channels. So we're going to go to the prizes now. So if you commented on the last video and you're a subscriber, you now have a chance for one of these prizes. So first out of the box is going to get a 2020-21 Panini NBA Player of the Day pack. Second out of the box, we got a Haunted Hoops pack for you. We're still on Halloween. Third out of the box, another Haunted Halloween uh, pack there and fourth out of the box we got a skybox anthony hardaway rookie all right let me get the box here we got a lot of tickets in there we're gonna hand mix them first okay and i'm gonna shake it up Oop, watch out i almost got hit with the box all right okay good luck to everybody here we go we're going for the pack first I gotta make sure I only got one ticket. Here it comes. Andy's Attic. Hey, Andy's Attic wins the pack. Watch out. I don't know if you remember Andy. When he first came on the channel, he won like three out of four videos. So he's back on the track now. I don't know. He might be on a, a streak again. All right, we got Haunted Hoops. Oops, here we go. Oh, Jonathan James. Jonathan James wins the Haunted Hoops. Here we go. We're going for another Haunted Hoops. I don't know if Jonathan's ever won. Jonathan, if I don't have... If you've never won, that means I don't have your address. Send me your address to my email at sportspg at aol.com. S-P-O-R-T-S-P-G at aol.com. If not, I'm going to message you. Here we go. Oh, poor man Stack. He got richer because he got a haunted hoop pack. And then who knows what else I'll send him. <laughs> there we go. All right, poor man. And then we got the Anthony Hardaway. All right. Oh, I got There's a lot of tickets in here. Here we go. I got one. Oh, I got one and I dropped it. Oh, Fidel, day one savage. Hey, day. he likes that basketball. All right, we got, I got to send him some Philly stuff too with that because he likes, he likes the Philly teams. All right, and that's our winners for today. And we're going to show you some prizes later that all you would have to do is comment on this video and be a subscriber and you got a chance to win prizes on the Tuesday video. All right, we got warehouse finds here. Let's see what we got here. For warehouse finds, we find a lot of stuff. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So, oh, first we got some Star Trek cards. All right, and these are from uh, 1991 Star Trek from Impel. Right, it looks like they made all kinds of uh, different Star Treks, like different years. We got a Matter of Honor. Move this over here. We got the Eyes of the Beholders. Captain John Luke Picard. So this is an old one, the arena. I remember when Captain Kirk had to fight that guy. See, I remember the original Star Trek. I really didn't watch a whole lot of the new stuff. Well, Captain Kirk got court martialed. We got the Ferengi. And we got shore leave. It's like an Easter rabbit. I don't, I don't remember that. Captain Kirk grants his crew shore leave on an Earth-like planet, but nothing goes right. Sulu is harassed by a samurai warrior. Dr. McCoy encounters a white rabbit and later is killed by a black knight. Wow. And it keeps going. I don't want to read that. It sounds violent. 
Oh, we got some Pokemon. Oh, these are the uh, the Pokemon League uh, promos that you know you had to play in the league to get these. We got a, a Zygarde. We got the Pokemon League emblem in the corner there. We got a Primarina. And Oricorio. Oh, watch out, I dropped that one. And then Incineroar. And I believe this was a McDonald's thing, I forget. This might have been a McDonald's uh, thing. Did it say? Well, 1999 Nintendo, but we got a Jinx on one side, and the other side has got the Mewtwo Strikes Back. So it might be from that movie, and I think that was a McDonald's card, if I remember right. We got some hockey. We got some uh, 95, 96, it looks like, Ultra Rising Stars. See if I say these names right. Alexei Zitnik. These are all like rookie rising stars back then. Oh, Alexei Yashin, I remember him. He turned out pretty good. Keith Primo. Oh, yeah, you got some good guys in this one. Oh, Jocelyn Thebo. Look at that. It's when they were young. 1999. Jason Arnott. They had some pretty good rookies back then. Got a Roman Hammerlick. Got a lot of guys. Scott Niedemeyer. The old devils. Got a Michael Renberg. A Trevor Kidd. And a Alexander Daigle. Dig I, I remember most of those guys. I used to watch a lot of professional hockey back in the day because, well, none of my nephews were playing hockey back then because the older two didn't play hockey. And the Devils were a big team, so... I watched a lot of that. Oh, this is interesting. We got a 1998-99 Upper Deck Lord Stanley Hero Steve Yarserman. Well, there's always a nice insert in the old Upper Deck. Oh, that's a nice card. It's a 97-98 Pinnacle Artist Proof of Mike Richter. Oops, I got it. That's a, those, are, those are always nice cards. This one here is a 2000-2001 Upper Deck of Legends Essence of the Game. Who's on this one? Let's see. Wow, Steve Yarzerman and Gordy Howe. That's a nice card. Oh, these were hard to get. I remember these. This is the 97-98 Donruss Preferred Gold Card of John LeClaire. Yeah, those golds were hard to get in that. Finding some good hockey lately. We got a 96-97 uh, Zenith Champion Salute. And this is the one, I believe it has the little diamond in it. Mike Richter. And it's got a little... Like diamond thing in the corner. This one's a 2001-2002 Pacific Steel Curtain. Martin Brodeur. He was the best. And we got basketball. What do we got here? We have 2000-2001 Tops Second Coming Cards. A whole bunch of them. Let's see what we got here. For second coming cards. Okay, so this looks like it pits a younger player and an older player. We had Tracy McGrady, Scotty Pippen. Second coming from Tops. We got a Tim Duncan, Alonzo Mourning. And it looks like these were regular cards in the set. They have regular numbers on the back. We got Elton Brand and Carl Malone. Larry Hughes and Allen Iverson. 
got Vince Carter and Grant Hill. Look at that. That's a good one. And we got a Kenyon Mark Martin Marcus Camby. Yeah, those are interesting cards. They're higher numbers, it looks like, but they look like they're regular, regular numbers on the back. Oops, got to put those back in there. Oh, we got some Larry Bird here. What do we got for Larry Bird? We got an authentic profiles from SP. Got a 1990-91 hoops. We've got a oh this is oh this is a good one. This is a Fanimation. It's Larry Bird and Michael Jordan Fanimation card. That's probably the best one they got. I believe they both have single ones because I I know I've seen the Jordan, but I don't know if I've seen that too much. The double. That was probably that's probably the better one. We we got a Legends Upper Deck Legends Larry Bird. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I got another another Fanimation. That's with the both of them. Then I got the one alone, which is Larry Bird. And then we got... Uh, this was, this was a special card in the set. I remember that. Skybox from 1994. It's a Magic and, and Bird. Maggie Johnson and Larry Bird. Big rivals. Oh, yeah. Back in the day. Let's see. We got, oh, we got some Shaq. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we got we got some Shaq. We got a, a upper deck USA Shaq. Got an upper deck gold signature Shaq. Get another USA, but it he's in the uh, magic uniform. Got an upper deck memorable moments, Shaq. This is a, a nice sky box from 1994. I got some more Shaqs here. Let's see. Can't go wrong with Shaq. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of Shaqs. We got a nice uh, Fleer from 2000, 2001. An SP Authentic. And upper deck. And we got an upper deck R class. So this has got all the different teams. The Magic, the Heat, the Lakers. There's some more. Watch out. We got some more Shaq here. A few more. This is an all sport. So another all sport. Here's a collector's choice. They made some nice action shots back then. There he is going up. Yep, he's one of my favorite. Favorite player and person. And we got some football. What do we got here? This is a 1994 Ted Williams Auckland collection. Vince Lombardi card. And it's got a serial number on the back, but it's weird. The serial number on the back says... 010Z48. That's weird. Oh, we got an upper deck first edition star rookie of Joe Flacco. Hey, right, this is this is a weird one. This is a Pacific Collection. Sterling Sharp, but it's not from the Pacific Collection set, I don't believe. It's a special back-to-school card. There's the back. We've got a Prism Draft Pick rookie of Bryce Hall. We've got a, a Panini Phoenix rookie of Leonard Fournette. Whoops. We got a Panini Contender rookie jersey card of Javante Williams. Oh, we got some Jerry Rice coming up. It's a thousand yard club, Jerry Rice, from 1990 Tops. Let's see what we got.
got here? We got a SP Authentic Jerry Rice. Oops. Okay, we'll save those two. For, oh, this is nice. SP Maximum Impact Jerry Rice. Oh, these were nice. I remember these. So we got some FLIR, FLIR metal stuff. This is nice stuff. So this is a uh, Platinum Portraits from 1995 FLIR metal. Those were always nice. And we've got a 1996 FLIR metal. And we got a 95 FLIR metal, regular card. And this is the 95 Silver Flasher, they call it. It's a parallel. And those are nice. Put those over here. Oh, Aaron Rodgers. I stopped watching the Jets. <laughs> I can't take it no more. Besides, I'm doing a lot of I'm going to a lot of hockey games on Sunday, so like this weekend I got the actually they're both three o'clock games. This Sunday, this today and Sunday. So right in the middle, I gotta go to see my nephews play hockey. We got a, a, a 2010 score, Aaron Rodgers. Got a Topps Finest. And this is a Topps Platinum Parallel, because it's one of them real thick ones from 2012. They were nice. Pretty thick cord. And I guess the Aaron, I don't know, maybe a miracle will happen, but right now it looks like the Aaron Rodgers experiment won't be working. So, oh, this is nice. It's a Donruss spirit of the game. It's got uh, Gary Sheffield and Fred McGriff. And the back is pretty cool too, back to back. Oh, we got a spring fever, Freddie Freeman. Back when he was on the Braves. Okay, this looks like a just, this can fool you, this stuff. Looks like a regular card uh, tops uh, Freddie Freeman from 2019. But it's not. It's like the original back, they call it. And it's numbered out of 99 up there. Look at that. They weren't easy to get, and they were... They were easily uh, not seen. We got a Stadium Club Red Parallel of Ken Griffey Jr. And we got a bunch of Ken Griffey's here. We got an Optic Season Ticket, Ken Griffey. Oh, these are always nice. The Stadium Club Trimavirates. They were die cut like. You know, this is uh, this is a uh, good one. The Idols. They were from the old Pinnacle cars from nineteen about nineteen ninety three. We got a Ricky Henderson, Ken Griffey Jr. This is the uh, old twentieth anniversary upper deck. So this this uh, would be what two thousand nine anniversary series. It was a big series of cards. But this is a good one, Griffey Jr. and Sr. This is another one from that set, and it's just a King Griffey Jr. card. Now, this is a National Baseball card, National Trading Card Day, uh, King Griffey Jr. from 2004. Got a bunch of Ken Griffey's here. This is an, an SP Authentic Marquee Matchups. Ken Griffey Jr. and John Smoltz. Oh, this was a nice looking set. I'm trying to remember what the name of it was, though. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. But this was a nice set from Upper Deck. And it doesn't say on the back, so I can't remember. But it was this was from 2006. I believe that's just a regular card. It's not a parallel, but they were nice looking cards. And we got, oh, this is the Signature Stars from 2009. 
Ken Griffey Jr. All right. Oh, we got some yogis. Yogi Berra made the scene here. This is one of my favorite cards. It's an old turkey red. Well, not an old turkey red. It's what year is it? 2010. It's got Yogi balancing the, the uh, mask on his nose. <laughs> we got a uh, Topps History of the World Series Yogi Berra. Can't go wrong with Yogi's. Got a Swell Baseball Greats. Got an Upper Deck Yankee Legends Yogi. And this was a Topps uh, ins reprint insert. It's a 52 Topps reprint. All right. Got an Unleashed Jackson Holiday. That's a nice one. It's from Don Russ. And these are nice. I think these are from Chronicles. Yeah, Chronicles Mag Magnitude Baseball from 2023. It's a Robin Yount. I like the acetate. Got another uh, Chronicle Pinnacle Baseball, Bobby Witt Jr. rookie. Got... Oh, the phone is ringing, but it's inside. I didn't. I didn't bring it into this office. We got a 2022 Chronicle Recon Baseball, Jeremy Pena rookie. Uh oh, we got Don Mattingly's. <laughs> I tell you, I picked up like 400 of them. We got a Greatest Players insert from Tops, Don Mattingly. We got a 1994 Bowman's Best. Somebody don't want to give up. The phone just keeps ringing. We got a 1994 Finest. Top's Finest on Mattingly. And a 1994 Stadium Club. This is an insert. I mean, it's from... So it's a Stadium Club Finest insert from 1994. So this is the uh, pretty newer Topps Gallery. What year is it? 2018 Topps Gallery, but it's the wood version. It's a parallel of the regular with the brown wood borders like. Now this was always a great card. Superstar Special, Mattingly in Action, from 1986 Fleer. And we got a 2005 Prime Cuts, number to 449 of Don Mattingly. And then we got some 1973 Tops. Wow, that's older. I was uh, a junior in high school. Back in 1973, we get a Vincente Romo, a Lenny Randall, all different teams, Marty Perez, got a Dave Raider. So Dave, uh, well, on the back, they got like a, a little story. With like a cartoon, and it says, Dave got his nickname Rooster from a cartoon character. All right. I got a Doyle Alexander. On this one, it says, Doyle enjoys working on cars. There you go. Got a Detroit Tiger card. I think that's when they had Norm Cash in them, guys, I think. Let's see. Oh, this has all-time records because Ty Cobb's on here. All right. But I believe that was like the Norm Cash, Bill Freehand, those guys. And, uh, oh, geez, I'm trying to remember the other guy. Willie Horton, he was good. Larry Bittner we got. Joe the Hood. 
Funny thing is, I know, I know, I've seen all these guys. Wayne Twitchell I used to go to a lot of Yankee games back then. I had just got my license in '73, and we went, we started going to Yankee games. Oh, Burke Campanaris. This is a, a, a World Series card from Game Seven. Got a Reggie Cleveland. Clarence Gaston. Salarino Sanchez. He was supposed to be a big big guy on third base for us. It didn't work out. He was a great fielder, but I think what did he hit? Like one something? Well, 248. That was his rookie year. Uh, you know, today, 248 ain't bad, but nah, back then, no home runs. So today, a guy will have 25 home runs and hit 220. He's good. But back then, if you didn't hit no home runs and 248, that's not good. Nah, you didn't, you didn't get too many hits. <laughs> and we got a Dave May. That's a weird one. It says, Dave's nickname is Daisy. That's weird. There you go, and that's our warehouse finds for today. A lot of different stuff. Oh, man. Okay. We're going to go right to cart shop stories. So, this is a little bit of what things that happened to me uh, in the store with construction workers, we'll call them. I guess... Uh, repair guys and stuff like that and you know when you got a store things happen uh the way we had the lease set up we were responsible i think it was for the first 500 or a thousand dollars of anything that broke inside the walls <laughs> so so that's what we were and that's that's most things you know Especially back then, because, you know, now things are really expensive. But back then, most, you know, electrical bills and stuff like that, electricians and stuff, the bill wasn't more than 500 But uh, we were responsible for the first 500 So I remember, uh, and I was a member of the business club in town. And I would always try to get somebody from the business club. That was, you know, years ago. Uh, so I'll tell you a couple stories about a couple guys. And because as far as building this store, we didn't have to worry about that. My father was a carpenter. He taught everybody what to do. And uh, I remember when we went from the small Mars planes to the bigger side, because one side was 700 square feet. One side was like 1,400. Pop and my nephew, nephew number one, they built that store with all the shelving and everything you know, while we were open next door. And then, you know, then we brought everybody in and just moved the stuff, you know, so that was crazy. But they probably worked eh, two or three weeks getting that store ready because we had a lot of shelving in that store. We had back rooms with all kinds. But I don't have to worry about that because I, in fact, I did it in the Randolph store myself after hours. So we all knew from Pop how to do uh, carpentry, you know, stuff like that. So... We, we all did that, uh, so we didn't have to worry nothing about that. But, you know, electricians, stuff like that, plumbers, we had to get somebody to come in. So, first story I'll tell you about is a very nice guy, older guy, and he's an electrician. Uh, and he, must, he must be retired by now because I'm, I'm talking 15 years ago, easy. So, and he was a member of the club, so I said, let me hire him, you know. And I told him it was for some lights in the ceilings, you know, uh, that we had to have replaced and this and that, you know, fixed up a little bit. And he goes, okay, he said, I'll come over. I said, all right. So he, he comes in and I, I did tell him ceiling, right? And my ceilings weren't that high. They might've been 10 feet high. They weren't that high, you know, 10, 12 feet at the most. So he comes in and comes in with a step ladder. And he wasn't a tall guy either. So, turns out he's got the stepladder and he can't reach the, the job. 
So, and, and he, he, the way he set up his his uh, payment thing was parts, at, uh, you know, he had to pay for the parts and all that, and then so much an hour for the labor. Is that right? So that sounds fair, you know. So he uh, can't reach the job with the ladder he's got. So he says to me, oh, I got to go back to the, you know, my, my garage and, and get another ladder. It's okay, you know. He didn't live that close either. He lived about eh, 20 minutes or so away, at least. So I said, all right, you know, whatever. No big deal. I'm here at the store for a million hours, so I don't care. So he comes back probably about an hour or so later, you know, with a bigger ladder and does the job, this and that. And, uh, you know, I sort of kept track of, you know, how long he was there and everything. And, uh, in the end, he gives me the bill. He does a good job. He gives me the bill. And I think I was busy. I just paid it, you know. And then later on, I looked at it. And I says, geez, the guy, the guy only was here, like, doing work for maybe three hours. But he charged me for five. And I says, Oh boy. So I was talking to my buddy about it and he says, no, no. He says, he charged you for probably go get in the ladder <laughs> and he charged you for like the time it took him to get to the job and then the time it took him to get home. And that was my first experience with that uh, by the hour type of deal. I said, did they do that? He goes, yeah, that's the way they do it. And I says, I don't like it. I says, I says, I shouldn't have to pay for the guy to come to the job and then leave the job. I says, uh, and to go get the ladder. I says, all right, maybe, maybe his travel time two and four, but not the stupid mistake he made because that was an extra hour and it wasn't cheap. I, I mean, back then it was probably a lot cheaper than it is now, but it was probably a good 60 bucks an hour at least, you know. And this is probably, like I said, at least 15 years ago. And uh, so I, I said, you know something? That's okay. He's a member of the club. I ain't going to say none. But I ain't never going to hire him again. That's it. So I never hired him again. <laughs> Whether I'm right or he was right, I don't know. I don't think you should charge somebody if you make a mistake, especially, and have to go back for a, a, a taller ladder. Give me a break. You know, for all I know... Yeah, you know, he might have planned that. I don't know, but it seemed like it seemed like something bad. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, and then the other one was a good one. It was a sewer thing. Our our toilet kept backing up, and it was an old building. And I I said we got to do something, so we called the plumber in. And sewer sewer and drain guy who I still deal with today because he's a good guy, you know. His son actually runs it now. And he says to me, you got a lot of roots. I says, oh, well, okay. Well, tell you the truth, I says, that's not my deal because I'm only responsible for what's in the walls, not what goes out on the, you know, out in the driveway or the street or anything. So I'm going to contact the landlord so I contact him. He didn't want to pay nothing. I said, well, I'm responsible for what's inside the walls. Now we're going outside the walls. <laughs> so, and that's what the contract, the lease says, in the wall, you know, inside the walls. So he goes, I'm not paying it, blah, 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 blah. So I says to the guy, well, first, first of all, I don't have to prove it about the... Uh, roots and he goes well he says so this is what happened because the landlord owned a lot of properties including a bar in town where this guy apparently was there at least once a month because in a bar things happen and i guess their toilet gets clogged up a lot and he goes i do a lot of work for the guy i can't make trouble for him i said what do you mean make trouble I says, you send the camera down there and you now nah, I can't make any trouble for him. He'll get pissed off at me and he won't hire me. And he was right too, because this guy had a hot temper, the landlord. 
So I, I said, you know something? I think at the, that point, we were pretty much convinced we were going to move out of the place anyway. I said, all right, do me a favor. Just clean it out. You know, and I'll take care of the money. I, I knew I wasn't going to get it from the landlord. You know, so... I mean, that landlord was stupid anyway because I he sort of almost made me move. He was so bad. He was real bad. And, you know, it did me a favor in the long run because when we went to Randolph, the business doubled and tripled, you know, because I actually had some parking then. And uh, But there was little fights like that over, over what he was supposed to pay and what he didn't want to pay, you know, that kind of thing. So... And he was empty for a long time. When I moved out of there, well, he was empty till he sold the place. And that was a good year or so. So how stupid is that? A lot of landlords are stupid. You know, to fight over that, it would have cost him maybe a hundred bucks to have the guy fix it, you know, which I, ha I had to pay anyway, but because you have to have a toilet, you know. And uh, instead he pissed me off and I, I left. So, And I was paying him at the time, 2100 a month. <laughs> How stupid, right? So, you know, I've had my ups and downs with construction fix-it guys, and I could tell you a lot more stories. Uh, it's half and half. Some of them are good and honest, and some of them are rip-offs, I'll tell you. You know, so... I mean, even when I came to the house here, now, I had never been here except to sleep. So I couldn't have a guy come come in and fix a lot of stuff unless it was an emergency. I had to have something fixed. And it, nothing much broke here either because I wasn't here, you know. Uh, I just would come home to sleep, like, and uh, the first guy I hired, which I've known him all my life pretty much, Ended up screwing me and disappearing with a few bucks after, you know, I don't want to say being lazy, but basically uh, taking a long time to do simple jobs, <laughs> you know, so, but uh, yeah, so I've had my ups and downs, you know, I want to say it's half and half. I, 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 want, I want to try and say most of the guys are good and honest, but no. It's half and half, so you really got to watch who you hire. Uh, try to get recommendations, this and that, you know. And uh, that's about that's my card shop story today. <laughs> I can go on and on about it, but that's basically the basis of it. All right, Ooh, we're gonna go to the Allen and Ginter. I got some of this in. I saved some because you know in March Julie's gonna have. Julie, who's one of my featured channels down below, is going to have her uh, spinach hunt and all that kind of hunt. She, every year of Alan and Ginter, she, since the spinach, she takes something. It's like a mini's hard to get. And if you get it, you get a prize. All right. She's going to start that in March, I think. End of February, March. All right. Oh, so what's what could possibly be in here? says, look for autograph and relic cards. 48 total cards. Look for autograph and relics from your favorite baseball players and stars from pop culture. Complete set inserts include Allen and Ginter in action rare, cycle succession, sister, sister, ballpark bites, rookie variations, exclusive to retail. All right. Parallels include mini cards, foil, filigree, mini gold border, and mini stained glass, and more. Seven packs plus one extra pack. Six cards per pack. All right, let's see. Wish me a little luck. This is all always nice stuff, very uh, diverse. And uh, not just baseball, but it's got, like they say, the pop culture, entertainment, places. Okay, so that's good. So we actually got an extra pack. We got eight packs in there. Yep, so they don't cheat you like Upper Deck does. Where Upper Deck will tell you a bonus pack, and it's the same amount of packs. All right, wish me a little luck. Here we go. Oh, wow, we're, we're long on this video. 44 minutes. 
Well, I got to get moving because I got to go to the hockey game. We got a rookie card of Christian and Carcion Strand. Nolan Jones. We got a Joe List. Ozzie Smith. We got a mini rookie card of Kyron Paris. Oh, the dog. They got dogs. Bean. Oh. So they got dogs. That's nice. I like the dog card. All right. What do we got? Oh, we got something chromey in here. We got a Kelsey Whitmore. Oh, we got a rookie card. A Jordan Westberg rookie chrome. They're not numbered, but that's nice. Oh, I got a relic. I got a Riley Green jersey. Wow. Out of a blaster. That's nice. I got a mini card of Pablo Lopez. Oh, so these are Samantha. These are dogs from the West... Minister Kennel Club. Okay, that's what they are. I like them. And I like that I got chrome and a relic already. Not bad. Next pack, let's see. We got a Julio Rodriguez. Fernando Tatis Jr. Got a Will Friedel. He's an actor. Kyle Schwarber. Well, we got a parallel. Okay. Looks like a parallel uh, of Christian Walker Mini. And we got a honeybee card. Buzzing, buzzing. So they're going to have like an insect card too. Honeybee. Got next here. Oh, got a nice Garrett Cole. Freddie Freeman. Got a Daniel Van Kirk. He's a comedian. Got a Brian Kenlin. He's a bassist. But what? What the? Uh, Bouncing Souls. I never heard of them. Got a mini. Oh, State Card, Florida. And, oh, that's a dog. Wow. Comet. That's actually a dog. Look at that. I always, I, I like the Allen. A lot of people don't like the Allen again, or I like it. I like the different cards. We got a Carlos Correa. Stam Usual. Sammy Sosa. Got a Willie McCovey. A George Brett Mini. That's nice. And Sister Sister. So we oh, so the Sister Sister is Sister Cities, I guess. St. Louis and Bologna. So the Italian American community of St. Louis points with pride to its sister city status with Bologna. Created in 1987, the agreement sees a rich cultural exchange, including the annual St. Louis Bologna Christmas concert, which starred Bologna native Bendetta Orsi in 2023. The cities are looking to expand joint efforts in agri-science and food technology. Huh. I never knew that. Okay. All right. Oh, we got Ron Lacuna. Got a Riley Green. Oh, Lou Gehrig. We got a Greg Maddox. A mini of Max Muncy. And then this, I saw this. These are like x-ray cards or something. What are they calling this? This is from the Oregon Zoo. It's an insert. X-ray. Western Pond Turtle. It's a weird card. 
This was an x-ray of a western pond turtle. And they're like heavier cords, too. It's weird. I don't think they're that easy to get. I don't know. X-ray cords. Does it have Oz or stuff? Somewhere it does. Probably on the back of the pack. Nah. I don't see nothing. All right, let's keep going. Oh, Ellie De La Cruz, rookie. We got a Randy Rosarina. A Austin Martin rookie. Oh, Dick Allen, the old White Sox. Got a mini parallel of Juan Gonzalez. And a Mercedes dog card. And we still got a pack left. So, so far we did okay. We got a nice chrome. We got a, a relic. X-ray card. Some nice minis. Got a Jordan Westberg rookie. A Emerson Hancock rookie. Nathan Avaldi. Oh, this is nice. John Daly. Got a mini of Junior Cayman Arrows rookie. And a CJ, the dog. Yeah. So he was the uh, 2016 Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show Best in Show winner. There you go. And that's our Alan and Ginter. I like the stuff. I always like the stuff anyway. But I did good, I think. You know, I got the relic. This is a lot of a blaster box. The relic, the chrome, the x-ray card. Some nice cards. Not too many Yankees, though. Gary Cole, I think that was it, right? No, Lou Gehrig, Lou Gehrig. So that's not bad. Take a couple Yankees. All right, and that's our box break. So we're going to close it up because, boy, it's 52 minutes. It's a long video, and i got to get to the hockey game. All right, so we have prizes. If you comment on this video and you're a subscriber, on Tuesday you have a chance for these prizes. First out of the box is going to be a 2021 Topps Chrome Update Pack. Second out of the box we got a 1977 Topps Carlton Fist card. Third out of the box, we have, what year is this here? 2014 Topps All-Rookie Cup Team, Albert Pujols. And fourth out of the box, we have a 2022 Player Jersey Number Medallion card of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So all you got to do is comment and be a subscriber. And on Tuesday, you got a chance for those prizes. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in. We're going to get ready to go to the hockey game. Don't forget our eBay. We're Sports PG, S-P-O-R-T-S-P-G on eBay. <laughs> Over 17,000 items with at least 80 items a week start at 95 cent auction. And C-O-M-C, we're Mr. 95 cents on C-O-M-C. With over 46,000 items, most of them at under a dollar. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Don't forget, collect what you like, because if it goes up or down, you still like it. And try not to buy a box for more than 120, because what we're getting out of this stuff ain't been worth it lately. All right. Take care now, everybody. We'll see you. I'm going to the hockey game. Bye now.